Hi, my name is Mike Cristados, and I work at Golden Ruby Games. And we're going to be playing some Extreme Exorcism. It's a game where you're hunting ghosts, but the problem is every action you do can come back to haunt you in the form of your past ver a past version of yourself. It's really easy to hunt the ghosts in this mansion because we give you a bunch of different weapons to use, but every time you kill one, another one comes back and copies all the same movements that you did the round prior. So it's really a lesson in restraint because every bullet you use can be really lethal the next round. There's um, three different modes to choose from. There's an arcade version, there's challenge mode, which has about 50 different challenges, and a full-on deathmatch mode, which you can be two to four players versus each other. It gets pretty chaotic pretty fast. Um, and that, it's going to be coming out sometime this year um, on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. You can find out more on ExtremeExorcism.com or GoldenRubyGames.com. All right, so in arcade mode, you have four different characters to choose from. Um, they're all pretty much the same. They just have, you know, different outfits on. And when you're ready, you hit start. Uh, when, you, when you come into the game, you have the entire house to choose from. There's about 10 different rooms to choose from, each one with its own little quirks about it. Like, for instance, the, the kitchen has fire, uh, the library has moving books, the bedroom has a large bouncing bed, lots of, lots to choose from. My favorite is the attic. It's close quarters. Um, when you drop in, you're going to be fighting against an evil chair. And to run around, you want, you want to pick up the weapons and then fire with the X button and jump with the A button. Characters can carry three weapons at once, and they all fire simultaneously. Um, and when you want to go and feel a little brave, go kill the chair when you, with you, when you have your arsenal. Pretty easy. Um, when you kill that chair, the round's going to start over, though, and there's a ghost copying me using all the same weapons that I did. Uh, so I want to kill him before he starts going crazy like I did the round before. In the first couple of rounds, it's really manageable because there's only one or two ghosts. So like I said, the next round there's another ghost, and we just keep adding until you die. There's no end to each game. It's just a high score based game. So if you see up in the corner, uh, yeah, uh, I only have 31 points out of 500 to beat the high score. Um, we give the players 20 different weapons to choose from. Each one moves, moves and, and reacts a, different, a little differently from each one. So kind of have to play around with each one to find your favorite and how they all work. But since you can carry three at once, you can kind of make these really interesting combinations. So I just got the, the big gun, the knives, and the fireball, and I just did some sort of massive attack like that. Um, after you kill enough ghosts, the extreme exorcism pops up in the form of those wings, and I want to go over and attack that ghost and activate it. And that's a way to mitigate the chaos, because any ghost that gets sucked in there is erased from the game completely. Um, so that'll really help players go a lot farther in the game. You don't need to pick it up, but it's going to be really helpful moving forward. And so, uh, yeah, you have about three lives. Um, you got to make them count because once you're dead, you're dead. Uh, it's a little bit easier in co-op because if you do die, your friends can bring you back to life after killing a certain amount of ghosts, but they have to stay alive long enough to do that. I'll get another level, too. I like the balcony. It has wind. The wind tends to push you in, a, in some direction. It's a little hard. But since ghosts only copy you from round to round, they're not going to be affected the exact same way by the hazards as you are. So since I moved a certain way uh, the first round, uh, and the wind's moving a different direction this round, then I have to account how the ghosts move each round. You think one of the developers would be better at his own game, but it's not the case. You think a developer would be a lot better at his own game, but it's not the case. Well, then I succeeded. It didn't take that much, though. And then I'll, I can, yeah. Um, and these are all the challenges. Um, like I said, there's 50 to choose from. Each one has like a little quirk about it. So in this one, I have to survive seven rounds when all the ghosts use rocket launchers. That's pretty much it.